A day after, Turkey announced the maiden flight of its first domestically made attack helicopter. A video has been released showing tests for the country's new T-929 attack helicopter. Also providing our first good look at the almost complete prototype, officials have also announced that the rotor craft developed under the ATAK-2 program and which is powered by Ukrainian-made engines, is expected to be delivered to the Turkish army beginning in 2025. The video sequence shows the aircraft running up its engines and rotors in a dedicated test facility in Ankara. Although it's unclear exactly when these tests took place, previously, we had seen a mock-up of the T-929 and the prototype in the early stage of production. The T-929 is being developed under the ATAK-2 program as a follow-on to TI previous ATAK, which resulted in the T-129 attack helicopter. T-129 is currently served with the Turkish Land Forces Command, as well as the Turkish Gendarmerie and the Turkish Police, while the design of the T-129 is derived from the Italian-made. Leonardo A129 Mangusta, as used by the Italian army, the T929 is much more ambitious in size and scope and uses a much higher proportion of Turkish-made components and subsystems. Work on the ATAK-2 project began officially in 2019, and it was only in August last year that production work on the prototype was confirmed to have started. All in all, it's another example of the impressive pace being set by Turkey's military aerospace efforts. Since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, there has been growing defense cooperation between Ankara and Kiev. For its part, the T-929 is powered by Klimov TV-3117 turboshaft engines, each developing around 2,500 horsepower and produced by the Ukrainian Motorsich company. An initial batch of 14 of these engines has been ordered. Although the pressures of the war in Ukraine reportedly led to a four-month delay in the delivery to Turkey. Overall, the T-929 is a larger and more capable machine than the T-129 and is described as a heavy-class attack helicopter, broadly in the same class as the US AH-64 Apache and the Russian Ka-52, in contrast to its lighter predecessor. The new helicopter has a stated total weight of around 25,000 pounds, which includes 3,300 pounds of weapons and stores. In comparison, the T-129 has a maximum takeoff weight of around 11,000 pounds. Meanwhile, the AH-64 tips the scales at around 23,000 pounds gross weight, with the Ka-52 weighing almost 25,000 pounds, with a maximum load included Avionics will be sourced and integrated locally, now a common feature of Turkish defense aerospace efforts, continuing the pattern established by the T-129, which features an Aselsan-developed avionics suite, an indigenous mission computer. This computer helps to run all the aircraft systems, including the Aselflir 300T, targeting and identification system, a helmet-mounted queuing and display system, the MFD-68 color multifunction displays, and CDU-900Z central display unit. Turkey has also developed a millimetric wavelength fire control radar. In terms of weapons, most all are also expected to come from Turkish manufacturers. This includes the UMTAS and LUMTAS long-range anti-tank missiles and the Sirit 70mm guided rocket, while the T-129 was fitted with a US-developed 20mm M197 chain gun in the nose. The T-929 introduces a locally developed cannon, the T-30H from the Aselsan company. Similarly, the planned electronic warfare equipment is all Turkish, with a fully integrated suite that will include missile warning sensors, a radio frequency jammer, and a directional infrared countermeasures system to protect against infrared-guided threats. Initially, the T-929 is planned to be delivered to the Land Forces Command and the Naval Forces Command. This suggests that it could be expected to form part of the air wing of the Turkish Navy's new TCG Anadolu, an amphibious assault ship. 
that Turkey has more recently said. It wants to operate as a drone carrier. Moreover, the T-929 will continue the Turkish military's own modernization drive with its multi-pronged approach that now encompasses the TFX Next Generation Fighter, the Herjit Advanced Jet Trainer, the Anka-3, low observable flying wing unmanned combat air vehicle, and the fighter like Bayraktar Kizalma drone, among others. For Turkey, the T-929 should bring a new level of capabilities, while at the same time, ensuring near complete control over the manufacturing and sustainment processes. All in all, the appearance of this new attack helicopter provides further evidence of the rapid progress made by Turkey's domestic defense industries. Know how long it will actually take to actually realize this progress in an operational form. That's another matter. Thanks for watching.